Hi guys, welcome again back to RC Fun and Games. This video is just to correct the mistake that I have made over here due to intolerances on the holes on the C hub. So I'm going to remove them, remove the imperfections so I can actually fit the bushings on the bottom side. I did try multiple times when I was fitting them, but they just would not go in. So I'm quickly going to remove them, use a drill just to remove the imperfections so that I can get them fitted the right way around. And I'm just doing this video so you guys don't make the same mistake I did, because this is really annoying. I did try multiple times to fit it from the bottom. And they just would not go in. Luckily, I had another set sitting at home. So I decided to check that out. And yes, they fit. So I know now that it's due to intolerances on the C hubs, guys. Just because I mentioned that Injora was making such good parts, they came back to bite me, guys. So let me quickly just strip this off and I'll show you guys what I had to do to get it right, okay? Just gonna show you guys no matter what I do, it would not go in there. So guys, I'm gonna remove the C-hub and I'm gonna quickly just take off the small imperfections so I can get them in there. Okay, as you guys can see, after removing the little tiniest of imperfection on the inside of the holes, I've managed to get both to fit from the right side. So just letting you all know, don't do what I did because that is wrong. It was running smoothly and there was no slop, but this is definitely the right way to do it, guys. And I apologize for my last video. Okay, guys, I got it all fitted really nicely. It's nice and loose. So I'm going to pop it back on here onto the steering link and I'm going to move on to the other side. As you guys can see, I'm just going to use the drill bit just to remove the imperfections and intolerances inside the hole. All I did is take the paint and the little hump that was in the way, guys. So now it should fit beautifully. Now let's check if they fit. Still a tight fit, guys. Okay, that's one in. And again, even with the imperfections removed, guys, it's still a tight fit. So, Okay, guys. So, if you guys had the same problem as me, just make sure you give it a tiny little clean. Don't over drill it. That's why I used the drill bit that was a slight bit smaller just to remove the imperfections, guys. I really do hope this video helps you guys out and you guys don't make the same mistake I did. Once again, guys, all I can say is thanks for watching another one of my videos and I hope to see you guys on the next one.